Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are, um, we're doing quite a few things. I have to go and drive to the next town <clears throat> to meet with the costumer again. She is, um, she is basically tailoring our clown costumes because when we had them made, we had them made kind of big and I, um, and then we realized that they don't really fit a lot of our actors. I think I have one actor that sometimes plays a clown that it actually fits. Um, so she's going to add elastic in a lot of places so it kind of closes in and just do all kinds of different things so that they, they work more with our actors. So, and then um, we're also, we are meeting about a straight jacket as well. Um, I'm having her make me a bulk order of straight jackets, so I'm ordering like like 10, um, and she's created one, and she just wants us to tr kind of try it on and make sure everything's right before she makes the other nine. And then we have a meeting, this time we're actually going to get in the school that we were talking about, the old building that we're using for inspiration so we can create scary rooms so that's what's happening today and you can see all that somewhere in there we're gonna stop for lunch so yeah fun times all right so I'm on my way to get Stefan if you haven't if you haven't really noticed he's kind of my sidekick um, he's uh, really it's because he's available and he loves this a, as much as I do um, so he's, that's why he's always running around with me getting stuff done. Um, so anyway, I, I just wanted to fill you guys in on a couple of things. You probably haven't noticed yet because it's not grown in that much, but I'm growing a haunt beard. I am not going, at least I'm going to try. I've tried this before and I've never been able to make it, but I'm not going to shave until the haunted house is completely done and built. Um, so probably the end of September is when I'll, I will finally shave because my character that I'm playing has this goatee mustache thing. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna be looking pretty grisly here soon. So there's that. If anyone wants to tag along and grow one with me, feel free to post any pictures of it of the progress on our uh, our Haunted Hills Productions page or you could um, if you can't post I don't know if you're able to you can send the pictures to me um, on there and I'll post them because it's cool so yeah there's that and uh, something new I'm going to start is movie reviews because it's cool I watch a lot of movies like a lot of movies and uh I always thought I really wish someone would review these these movies that are on um, Netflix so I know which ones are really crap and which ones are kind of good so I'll start with this one last night I watched a movie called Deathgasm yeah crazy name it is on Netflix it's been on there for probably about two weeks um, and it was basically it's about a group of teens who um, they start a metal band and they end up they find this piece of music and they play it and it basically it brings about all these like a bunch of demons well it's the movie is like a dark comedy it's extremely bloody and extremely gory like evil dead type of blood and gore um, but it's so funny. I was laughing so hard last night. It was just, it was like 2 a.m. and I was just dying of laughter because it was so funny. Like, every time a part is just like extremely bloody and extremely gory, they like throw in a joke somewhere in there and it's just, it was so good. I highly recommend it. It was great. Um, 
yeah and it's it's got a lot of good uh good makeup a lot of good costuming if you want to look at it for, for from that kind of a perspective um and it was just overall just such a great a, a great freaking movie especially for one that was on Netflix um so that's my movie review I will probably put in here somewhere some kind of a clip of it or like a poster of it or something like that so you guys can kind of check it out and you know what to look for so that's that I'm on my way to Stefan's and we'll show you more after that all right so we just met with um, our costumer and everything went great we're getting our clown costumes fixed we've got our straight jackets ready and they're gonna be paid for pretty soon and uh, yeah everything's coming together real nice so we're going to get lunch now So we're at Chili's and I want to show you this. You guys have probably experienced them. But this reminds me of Back to the Future. You can order here, you can pay here, you can do everything. And it's like where he's in the the um, 50s cafe. Cafe 80s talking to Michael Jackson. So once it's on, I'll show you more. Whoops. So Chili's. The food was good, the service was crap, thanks. Um, anyway, I thought the chicken and the steak was really good, but the service was just bad. Um, we didn't get our drinks for like 15 minutes. Uh, we didn't get the chips and salsa refill that we asked for. Stefan didn't get uh, his food. Oh, and good. yeah, so service was crap, food was good. We have some time, so we stopped at a garage sale. See if there's anything cool that we could pick up for cheap or free. So I got this for a dollar for these for our psychiatrist room this year. All right, so our meeting got pushed back an hour, so I took Stephen to the bank, and dropped him off at his house, and he's just going to meet me up there but while I'm waiting I'm listening to Haunt Topic Radio and if you don't subscribe to Haunt Topic Radio you should because it's great it's um in my opinion it's the best Halloween podcast I'm subscribed to about 20 of them um so yeah it's great you should listen to it right now I'm listening to one on running an outdoor attraction I believe they interviewed people from Halloween Overload um at least that's the picture that was on there so but it just started so anyway I'm gonna go drop Stefan off and meet him up there at 430 all right so we're back um, we checked the school out I don't know if I'm gonna add clips in or not um, but it was awesome it was old and scary and uh, it felt I don't know for some reason it reminded me a lot of Silent Hill um, but yeah, it was cool. So, thanks for watching. I didn't check subscribers, but share this everywhere. Show your grandma and your dog. Get them to subscribe, too. Um, thanks for watching. Stay scary.